Hi, this is Jim from Teachers Love Smart Boards. I want to take you through a wonderful web application called Picnic. Now, Picnic is a wonderful tool for your smart board interactive whiteboard, and it's a good way to show your students basic photo editing features. Now, to get to Picnic, you just go to www.picnic.com. Picnic is spelled P I C N I K. Now here I'm at the main site. I'm going to go ahead and click the Get Started Now button. And it's going to go ahead and bring me to the first screen of Picnic where I can go ahead and log in. You would need to register before you can log in. It is free, it's quick, and utterly painless. And it really is. And I highly recommend that you register. You do not need to, however. However, even if you register, the application is free of charge, although they do have a version that's $24.95 a year and just has some additional features you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And it's going to take me to the home page of Picnic where I can upload a photo, uh, go to any of my other tabs. So if I go to my photo tabs, that's just a quick place I can upload photos. You can upload photos from your computer, from Picasso Web Albums. You can get them from a website, So and you can even use Flickr. Now I've actually attached and told Picnic about my Picasso photo sharing site, and I've got an album out there called December 2007 where I have some pictures of my son Wesley. So I'm gonna. Uh, I've already been working with Picnic and made some wonderful Christmas pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and make one more. I'm gonna use this picture right here. Now the reason I like Picnic is that it does work very well with your interactive whiteboard. And what I mean by that is to manipulate Picnic, you really only need your left mouse button. Uh, and so on the smart board, all you would need to do is touch your smart board with your finger. So I would touch here on the drop down menu and touch the delete option to load that picture. Now it's loaded and it uh, jumped immediately to my edit tab allowing, allowing me to do some basic editing. As you can see up here, auto fix and rotate and crop. All your basic editing features, even red eye. I'm actually going to do a couple things here. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to look at my exposure, click on that. I'm going to darken it just a tad. There we go. And click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it and I'm going to do something neat that I want to show you. I'm going to constrain it to dimensions for a uh, 5 by 7 photograph and that comes in handy in case you want to print it out. It will be in the perfect dimensions so you can print it out and put it into a 5 by 7 frame. So I'm going to move it there. I'm all set. I'm going to click OK and there's my new photo. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to my Create tab and this is where the fun begins. Now I'm not going to go through all the different options here. That's where uh, your students would go and play around with the different features and get a feel for what the different things do. Uh, but you have effects. You have a lot of effects down here too that you don't get with the standard version but if you do purchase the premium version you'll be able to use these different effects. Um, so these are basic things. Here's a black and white, a antique, boost. I'm not going to use any of these effects right now, but you can get the idea. I am, however, going to go over to my frames, and I'm going to create a border around this picture. So I click on border. I'm going to make some minor modifications to it, and thin out that first border, fatten up the second border, change my colors to some Christmas colors, and let's see, that would probably look, there we go, green looks really nice. So I got a neat border, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. There you go. Now I'm going to go up to my shapes, and one of the reasons I wanted to bring uh, Picnic to your attention now before the holidays is Picnic has put in some neat uh, Christmas icons and stickers and other things you can do. Um, so in order to put something on your picture, what's neat, all you have to do if you're using your interactive whiteboard is simply go over there and uh, just tap it with your finger or do a left mouse click if you're working on the computer and it will instantly put the object on the screen. From here, you can simply touch and drag it to wherever you want. You Just like in your notebook software, you can touch and drag one of the corners to make it a little bit bigger. So you can see we can do all sorts of fun things. I'm going to actually put this back here, shrink it down.
down a little. Yeah, just have a little gingerbread man. And I can do a lot of different things with my right mouse menu. To, in order to get your right mouse menu, just a quick tip, you can, on your smart board, you can touch your finger on the object, hold it down for about three seconds, and boom, the right click menu will appear. I put an object on there. Now I'm going to go down to my hat. So I'm going to put a hat on there. I'm just going to drag that up here. I'm going to need to click and expand it so it fits his head. There we go. That looks nice. Make sure his ears are warm. And the left, I'm going to put a, a border on it. This is kind of fun. I just click on one of these borders once. I drag it to where I want to put it and just expand it. Uh, however big I need it. I'm going to put that one right up there. The last feature I want to show you is the text. Um, so I'm going to click on my text option and they put in some neat Christmas fonts. If I scroll down, uh, here's some neat fonts for Christmas. I'm gonna click on that one and type in Merry Christmas. Add that. I'm going to click and drag it so it's going to fit inside my picture. Gotta shrink it down just a little bit more. And move that right down at the bottom. And we got a neat picture. Let me see Gingerbread Man. I'm gonna center him. And there's my picture. The last thing I'm gonna do or show you is how to save. You simply click on the save and share. Come down here, you can save it to your computer, or you can save it back to where you got it. I'm gonna save it to my Picasso Web album and it's going to save it as a new file name. Just uh, go ahead and click Save Photo. And hopefully just in a few seconds it will finish. And it did. And if I go to my photos and look in my album now, it should appear here in just a few seconds. There is my new photo right there. So that's how you use Picnic and it's a great tool for your smart board, interactive whiteboard, and it's a great way to teach your students about basic photo editing.